Hello everyone and welcome to Jurassic World. In this week's videos we are going to be taking a look at the new Hasbro Jurassic World dinosaur toy offerings. I have acquired uh, three dinosaurs so far as you can see here. Uh, we have the Ankylosaurus, Velociraptor Blue, and the bad boy Indominus Rex. Let's go ahead and work our way from smallest to largest and kick things off with the Ankylosaurus. Alright you guys, so the name of this assortment is Bashers and Biters, and uh, it's at the very attractive price point of $10. Dinosaurs themselves are not very large, but when you consider the fact that you can purchase a Jurassic World dinosaur for that price, that for the most part looks pretty good and has a pretty neat action feature, then it makes the price very appealing. The packaging here is quite nice in my view. As you can see, it's an open box, that way you can test out the action feature, which is a really good thing because from what I have seen online, some of these have been hit and miss as far as whether or not the action features work properly. So the fact that you can test out the action feature prior to purchasing your dinosaur is a really good thing. The coloring on the packaging is also quite nice. I really like the Jurassic World logo where they use the blue and silver. The movie logo looks to be a little bit different. It's more of like a darker gunmetal type thing, but I like that in the merchandising they're using this blue and silver logo because I think it does look rather nice. You also see what looks like dinosaur skin uh, on the card back and then a, uh, an image there of the Tyrannosaurus Rex and what looks to be a pretty artistically enhanced artist's rendition of the T-Rex from the movie. The packaging on either side of the box is completely identical. You see the Jurassic World logo and then it tells you the name of the dinosaur. And the back gives us an image of the dinosaur toy and a brief description of the dinosaur itself. As you can see here, the dinosaur is held in place by these strings, uh, which are made of kind of like a paper type uh, ribbon material. And then he is wedged against a little plastic uh, piece right in there. And uh, the card back is actually double plied, as you can see. So the strings uh, go all the way inside and presumably inside this box here uh, where he is held in place. Uh, if we look underneath the box, uh, we see a few other dinosaurs available in the Bashers and Biters assortment. Uh, there's the Spinosaurus, the Stegoceratops, and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. All right, so let me go ahead and get this guy out of the packaging and we will take a closer look at the Ankylosaurus. Okay, my friends, so now we have our Ankylosaurus out of the packaging. And as you can see, it's a quite nicely done figure. Uh, certainly not up to Papo standards, but for a toy aimed at children, it's actually quite nice. The Bashers and Biter assortment is a very child-centric, uh, what with um, the wacky looks of a lot of the dinosaurs as well as the incorporated action features. In my opinion, uh, as well as from what I've seen online from other collectors, Ankylosaurus is uh, the nicest one of these dinosaurs. I've never been a huge Ankylosaurus uh, fan per se, but uh, I certainly think this is the best um, dinosaur toy in the Jurassic World Bashers and Biters assortment. And they do seem to be quite popular as I haven't seen as many of them out in the wild as I have the other dinosaurs in this wave like Tyrannosaurus, Spinosaurus, and Stegoceratops. And it's not too difficult to see why. The other Bashers and Biters dinosaurs are far more exaggerated and uh, not very realistically proportioned. Some of them have big heads, some of them have strange looking teeth and you know crazy coloring. Uh, Stegoceratops obviously is not a, a real dinosaur. Um, but Ankylosaurus here for whatever reason uh, looks like they gave him a very uh, natural and lifelike appearance with very neutral coloring that makes him even more appealing to uh, an adult collector. So as you can see from looking at the head here, um, Hasbro actually did a really nice job with this guy. Uh, the eye is painted very nicely. It looks very natural as well. Um, the, uh, you know, the rest of the detailing on the head looks quite good, you know, nice scaling and uh, sculpt work on him. Uh, if you look inside his mouth, you can see he has some teeth, um, which it doesn't look like they painted the individual teeth. It looks like his whole mouth is pink, but, you know, it's not a huge deal. His nostrils look good, and they're actually uh, sculpted out there rather well. Um, if you look at his back, uh, you know, the nice armored look for this species is, uh, you know, very nicely recognized here. You know, he definitely looks very much armored up, um, you know, from his head all the way to his clubbed tail. 
uh, as you can see there. Really nice. Um, it's a little bit shiny, but then when you get to the bottom of him, you know, it's a lot more matte, and it actually looks really good down here, too. I really like the coloring, how they incorporated, uh, you know, this brown that kind of matches, the, you know, what you see up here, and, you know, just kind of give him a few spots, and, uh, you know, mixed it in with more of this, uh, you know, deep uh, beige color. Looks really good. Sculpt work on it, um, you know, for a toy. Again, it's not Papa standards, but, um, you know, for, for a $10 toy, uh, that's aimed at uh, children. You know, it's really pretty good. I'm actually quite impressed with this. You have the little Jurassic World branding there on his leg. You know, since all Jurassic Park dinosaurs have had that going back to uh, the 1993 figures. So, uh, you know, Hasbro went ahead and carried that forward to the new ones, as they always have, which is pretty cool. And then he has some dino damage there, which has also been a staple of Jurassic Park dinosaur toys since 1993. And it basically just looks like, uh, you know, a little bit of a muscle and a couple of ribs, I suppose. Um, I think I could have done without that. I certainly would have preferred that as it looks better without it. But, uh, you know, it's not terribly bad. For whatever reason, he has a little hole here and then a small one there as well. I'm assuming maybe it's for the action feature, but he doesn't have it on this side here, uh, which is quite interesting. And other ones I've seen online have this too, so it's not the defect of any kind. Um, unfortunately, you do see these screw holes here, which are somewhat unsightly, but, uh, you know, it doesn't look terrible. I mean, if you pose it like this, you know, you're not going to see that. Now, as for the actual action feature, the way that you use it is um, with the right uh, back leg. So what you do is um, you pull it to swing his tail, and it works pretty well. Seems like it got caught there. It works pretty good, and then if you push it forward, his head kind of sticks out. Well, that looks a little bit strange, but um, you know it, it's still not bad for for an action feature. That's not really too noticeable. You don't have any like buttons or you know anything to kind of give away the fact that he does this. So the way that they uh, did that, you know, makes him pretty neat. And you can kind of incorporate both of them into this. <laughs> And he does have um, articulated legs. You can move his legs, um, you know, to varying degrees. Uh, his uh, front right leg doesn't move a whole lot. Um, the back one has some pretty good movement. And then this is the action feature leg, so, you know, it's a little bit more slippery um, for that reason. All right, you guys, and there you have it. This is the Hasbro Jurassic World Bashers and Biters assortment and Kylosaurus. All in all, I'm quite pleased with this figure. As of right now, it is the best one in the Biters and Bashers lineup. Unlike the other dinosaurs in this assortment, it's actually quite realistic. Uh, it has very nice proportions. It's painted very well. And the action feature is quite neat, I will admit. If you're looking for a higher-end uh, dinosaur collectible, then Papo makes a very, uh, very nice Ankylosaurus that, um, you know, looks actually looks quite similar to this one in the way that it's posed. But... Uh, you know, this is certainly aimed more at uh, children, though I like it because it's very realistic looking and I think it's an overall very nice toy. Therefore, if you wish to collect a Jurassic World dinosaur toy, you know, for 10 bucks, which is actually a very attractive price for something like this, then I think it's a really good deal. And I can actually see quite a few adults possibly buying something like this as an impulse purchase for a child. So I'm not sure that I'm going to purchase more dinosaurs from this assortment. There is another wave of them coming very soon. Uh, so I may very well, um, you know, look at getting some more of them. But for now, I'm quite happy just with my Ankylosaurus. All right, you guys, stay tuned because we do have some more Jurassic World dinosaurs coming up in our next review. Thanks for watching Victoria's Cantina. Until next time, bye-bye.